If the gear ratio of this is 16.8 to one, what would the gear ratio be if we added two more of these to this chain? To figure that out, we multiply 16.8 times 16.8. And then we multiply that by 16.8 and that gives us 4,741.6 to one. That means that this gear has to spin 4,471.6 times for this gear to spin once. And the whole thing is gonna be printed in place. Almost 36 hours later and the 4,741 to one gear ratio piece is done. And you can see when I spin this by hand, we don't see that last gear moving even slightly. Let's add a drill to this thing and see if we can get it to spin that way. According to the digital tachometer, the drill spins at approximately 1,180 RPM. This means it'll take about four whole minutes to see that output gear make a single rotation. In the next video about this, we're gonna try to get a full rotation out of that output gear, so stay tuned for that.